been a little while since I've done a video, and I've been waiting for this to come in the mail. This is like Christmas in June. Arrived today. I can't wait to get it open and show you what it's all about. If you're a laser enthusiast, a laser hobbyist, and you don't own an order to laser, you're going to want to stick around and see what's in this box. Coming right up. The Christmas present that I got today is the Orator 10 Watt Laser Module. This was introduced about two months ago. I bought one back then. They started shipping at the beginning of June and I just got mine today. I'm pretty excited to get this open and show you folks what it can do. If you're familiar with hobby lasers, the Orator lasers in particular will come with a 2.5 watt laser or a 5 watt laser. The 5 watt laser, uh, I have two of those that I use on uh, the machines that I have. Uh, and I've done a lot of projects and sold a lot of items using those lasers. The 5 watt cuts relatively well etches pretty well, uh, but the problem with it is it cuts slow. This project that I have in the background on the computer that is connected to that laser, that can take anywhere from an hour and a half to two hours. Uh, the cuts themselves, I'm running it at about 350 to 400 millimeters a minute and at 95% power and running six to seven passes to be able to do that. And that's with air assist. And again, an hour and a half to two hours, that's a long time. The goal is that this laser, the 10 watt laser, will be hopefully a lot faster and I can turn some projects out a lot quicker. So again, we're gonna get it open. I'm gonna do some test cuts using the five watt and the 10 watt and we'll see how it does. Okay, let's get it open. Uh, instruction manual, some uh, air assist tubing, a power supply, uh, which ideally I shouldn't need because that should hook up to everything I have. All the uh, mounting brackets and the uh, air supply, uh, air assist. It actually comes with a controller board, which ideally, again, I'm go not going to need that. I have a, uh, a Timothy Rothman 32-bit uh, board that should power this up and run real nice. And then here's the laser, laser module itself. Yeah. Interesting, I might have to use the air assist that they sent because I'm not seeing a way to uh, connect that up. All right, we'll get her connected and see what it looks like. The first test I'm gonna do is with the five watt laser. Uh, this is what I normally use or have been using up until I've got the 10 watt one now today to test out. This normally takes seven passes at 350 millimeters a minute at 95% power uh, is what will cut through. Uh, and again, if I were to cut a whole sheet of this a design I'm doing, uh, which is 12 inches by 12 inches, it would take about an hour and a half to two hours. I think this one right here, like Burn is saying, is going to take 16 minutes. So we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna frame it up. And when I start it, we will uh, start the timer. I wanna make sure my focus is good. Perfect. <clears throat> and send it. Okay, Google, vacuum on. Okay, turning the garage vacuum on. And I'm sorry, that sound you're hearing in the background is the fiber laser doing a customer project. To add a little excitement to the moment, this is the customer project that I was just working on. Their bicycle headset stem caps. They're pretty cool, US flags obviously. We got the 10 watt laser module adapted or connected, I should say. 
Uh, it took a little bit of time because I've got an adjustable height Z-axis and I had to cob something together to get it to connect to that. Uh, you will notice it is noticeably louder than the 5 watt laser or 2.5 watt, watt lasers that I run or I notice that it is. Uh, it doesn't have air assist running right now. That's just fan noise and there's a good amount of air coming through uh, but I still fear you're going to need air assist. The uh, focal point adjustment for this one as opposed to the 5 watt laser which is this uh, cylinder is uh, pretty, pretty slick. I think they probably take this from other folks but I'm not sure. Uh, it's right there. Uh, that's touching your material. That's the correct focal height. So that's going to work out pretty well. I'm going to frame this up, get my air assist and vacuum on, and we'll let it run. Okay, Google, vacuum on. This is going to be run at uh, 380 millimeters a second at 95% power with two passes. It's saying it's going to take 4 minutes and 28 seconds. We'll see. And I'm going to start it right now. Here we go. All right, so that was the Orator 10 watt laser. As you can see from the video, what was taking me 12 to 15 minutes to cut one item is now taking me about three and a half minutes. That's quite a time savings, and it's going to be a big time savings if I'm doing a large project uh, with a lot of items and for a customer. So that's going to be more money for me in the long run. That's a good thing, makes me pretty happy. I owe nothing to order. They did not send this to me. I bought this on my own. Buy one or don't, it's up to you, but I highly recommend the product. It seems to work pretty well. Other than that, I want you to know one thing. Your couch sucks. It's time for you to get up, get on, get out in your garage and do something epic like laser cut some wood. See ya.